Well, what a shame these nighttime shelter areas are going to be destroyed. Again, with the Redding Coalition for the Homeless wants to let people know that there really isn't any nighttime shelter areas. So it's a travesty that these areas are being ruined. Here's one of the Union Pacific people now. Can I help you? Yeah, I was just uh, seeing what we're doing here today. I'm a uh, homeless advocate. And I'm doing a blog and filming people and, and the occurrences down here. And there's a lot of people that are being been displaced here. I was doing a little blog about awareness. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. No, everybody has not been displaced. We actually had the Union Pacific's cops out here and the local PD. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, they went and contacted everybody and, and uh, informed everybody what was going on. Well, you know what's the Travis? Can you put your phone down? I know I'm doing a blog, sir, and it's, I'm sure, perfectly. Well, you're on UPR oh, I'll property. get right off your property, and then I'm doing a blog, sir, and I'm perfectly within my legal rights to film people. Yeah, that's, that's and so uh, I hope you don't mind that. And you know, my my concerns are these sub freezing temperatures, and the Good News Rescue Mission is often beyond filled beyond capacity, and it's the only nighttime rescue mission this side of uh, well. It's the only one in all of Northern California. Do you have any feelings at all about the For people? For the last six months, um, they have just nothing but created trash. Sure, and that's and a so we've 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 done nothing but spend lots of revenue picking up debris. Okay. And trash. Sure. Um, not kicking anybody out. Uh huh. Um, now the city has 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 already dealt with a lot of a lot of stuff. So now yeah. they're going ahead and, and evacuating everybody so oh so you you kind of agree they're getting pretty busy and not only in this area but all over town with the homeless as far as evacuating the homeless and the places that they take uh, refuge no this is just Union Pacific sure this is just the railroad problem now you know I got a big question is behind you and that gentleman is that all Union Pacific that you're going to be tearing out here uh yeah all this property is all of this whole corner oh, here well, no we're just cleaning up the trap Oh yeah, so all none of this. Stand. Oh, okay. All this right here is, is staying. All that staying. Oh, uh, you know, and we just uh, we go down and we clean out a uh, hundred feet from center of track line. I see, and that's and your so property. Really, what what we're cleaning out here today has nothing to do with the homeless. It has to do with the fire hazard. Oh. See, when the fires come through the city, uh -huh. they follow the they follow the railroad. And seeing that there's a lot of homeless guys out here starting fires, yeah, it's, it's kind of a liability. Well, you know, and I understand that, but then I would hope you would understand as a Christian homeless advocate, we had temperatures out here in the 18s, 19 degrees. Yeah. And if you look over here to your, uh, your right, there's a still snow and there's a homeless camp just right over here to your right. Yeah, and so he's I. He's not a homeless camp. He's not homeless. He's uh, camp just fine. He's actually got a, a, a house or a place to stay in Auburn. Oh. Um, and him and his dog are, are going to be moving up to Auburn. They have a, a shelter system where they're only allowed to take in so many people. Oh, I see. And so he got on a list, uh -huh. and then he, he's going over there to Auburn. His, his name come up, so he's going to be... Uh, place, but as for kicking people out in the cold, that's not what we're after. Well, you know, I know you're not after that, but you know, the homeless came to me and said the police warned them that you guys are going to be coming down. It's understandable. It's your property, and and uh, I guess Officer Brandon came down here and red tagged uh, some folks, and and they're they're pretty upset. I didn't know about red tag, and I, I know I talked to Bob. Yeah, Bob Brandon, absolutely. Yeah. Bob Brandon. yeah. And, and you know, and it's only on the UPR property. This is federal land. Yeah, I understand that. So you have bad, and I understand when you, that. When you take a place on here. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's beginning to look better. Oh, you see that? The guy, the cit local citizen is happy about the cleanup process. You know? Sure. So I, unfortunately, about the homeless people, like you said, it is, it, it's terrible. There is spots, there is shelters for them to go to. Uh-huh. Uh, Reading's a big city, but... Uh, that's that's all I. You know what? You know what? And I appreciate your honesty and your candor, and I appreciate you sp talking with me and you and I having a civil conversation about it. And I was just kind of concerned because over the shoulder of that of that Kubota is, a, of course, a known homeless camp, and I've seen it where there's at least 20 tents down there and 40, 50 people. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, this is the trash that they left. It's been vacant for about a month. Now. Sure. Sure. Um, also down there, there's another encampment that that they left. When they when they get up and leave, they're not worried about cleaning up anything or doing anything like that, and so that's why you know they, the railroad comes out, spends forty thousand dollars spending 
for us to come out here and clean up the mess. Sure, and I understand that, and I understand the railroad side of it, and I understand their concerns as well. Uh, uh, myself, I'm just glad to be able to show this and show what's going on, and, and uh, you know, maybe we can, again, I feel, that, you know, and that's just my opinion, that we have a, a shelter emergency here. Uh, there's a 96-year-old guy in Chico that's homeless. You know, there's a guy 70 years old under the Eureka Way overpass that sleeps under there and, and in this temperature. And yeah. I just want to get some more people sheltered. But you know what? Right. This well, I'm actually, I, I appreciate what you do. I mean, like I said, I go to a church on Sunday.